respect that bragging rights for the world heavyweight title was every man for himself. I would have thought that Batista would have known that walking into that match. Right. I'm gonna rip your head off. I'm no stranger to betrayal. Throughout my career, I had people that I thought were friends end up turning their backs on me. But this one, for some reason, it hit a very soft spot. I couldn't make sense of what had gone down. You're supposed to be my friend! If I would have known that this was gonna interfere in our friendship, I would have never have done what I did. We had gone through so much together, and I just couldn't believe how quickly he could throw that all away. I'm not thinking about what we've been through. I'm not thinking about you. I'm thinking about me. After weeks of verbal and physical assaults, I knew that we could never go back to the way things were. I wanted to make him feel the same way I did, to return that feeling to him. And the best way I could think to do that was to beat him on SmackDown and get the number one contender spot that Batista felt belonged to him. Batista's game plan from the get-go was gonna be to manhandle me. So I just looked to use the momentum to my favor. I mean, my hope was to be wherever his fists and boots were not. And then before I knew it, I was in the worst possible spot I could ever be in. Just gotta start going crazy, doing whatever I can to get free. Luckily for me, I was close to the ropes, or that would have been a really short night for me. Batista can pretty much hurt you with simple stuff, like clotheslines or spears. I literally have to hurl myself at you from tall heights to get that same effect. It definitely did the trick.
was a rough landing, right? Thought I was in a good spot? Mm-mm. Not that time. So then Batista wanted to get a little out of his element. So I just drop kicked him back down to reality. He gave me a chance to reset the match uh, just a little, and I was happy to take it. Thank you. 